It's like stripper music. Like, yeah, no, I, it, it, but that was lovely music. What was that you played for Minnie coming out then? It was blues for Minnie. Oh, right, there you are. Right. Right. You look well. Yeah, like you, you, wow, look at you all doing it. Drop it down. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. You're, you're right in there. It's late night, isn't it? Well, kind of. Latish. Yeah, it's latish. <laughs> this movie looks hilarious. It's so funny. Yeah. It's no, so I was like, oh. <laughs> It's a laugh a minute. What is it about? It's a, a prank? Guys go on a road trip to find their old college thing? No, it's not that at all. Mm. The, the, uh, a wonderful woman uh, spends 18 years going to college to become a lawyer to get her innocent brother out of jail. Ah. Musical? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Daniel Day-Lewis is in it. He sings. Oh, d does he sing? I bet he can sing, actually. He could probably I do bet he probably he can. He probably can. He's very clever. Do you see him in the gangs of New York when he put that thing right on his eye? No. Yeah, he put that thing right on... He put a sword right on his eye. Oh, it was amazing. That's not funny, though, or musical. Oh, no, it was hilarious when he did it. It was like... <laughs> that was the thing. He did it and you wanted him to sing about it. <laughs> but it was just glorious. How have you been? I haven't seen you since I saw you in the parking lot a while ago. I've... <laughs> Are we still neighbours? Yeah, yeah, I'm still living where I, I live. I never see you on that street, ever. Well, I'm reclusive and weird now. I, put, I, I take your dogs back to, 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 to the house once in a while when they get out. Yeah, no, but no, these dogs have actually, the dogs that you took back have gone. They've shuffled off. Did a car finally get them? No, 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 they died of old age. They died of old age. I'm they, sorry uh, to they, hear yeah, that. They, actually, but we got new dogs. Oh, you do? Yes. Uh, Excellent. And they, we keep these dogs prisoner. <laughs> Do you still do you have a dog? I do. I have a twelve year old Labrador. Well, you'll find out then at no, some point. No, he's yeah, never yeah, yeah. going to die. Never, never, never. No, well, all right. Never. No. All right. What's your dog's name? Bubba. I see. <laughs> now listen. Yes. So Mary McCormick is a very old friend of mine. And mine. And what? she gave me this mark. I heard about that. Yeah. What happened to the tooth? Well, there's a, the, the, uh, it's got a broken tooth. I had to break it off because it's poisonous and it was attacking the guests. <laughs> Only if they really deserved it. I don't know. I, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't brush its teeth. I guess. Oh, exactly. I don't know. It's well, a I... British rattlesnake. It didn't. Uh... You know, this. This. What? I can't believe that you're jumping on like the rubbish British teeth bandwagon. Sweetheart, like go home thing? and have walk down yeah. the street and smile at a couple of people. Yeah, that's because you live near me. That's why. You go back to Britain and like, all right, me. Now you do it. All right. Well, that, that's just my mum. Yeah, that's right. No, I'm actually quite surprised when I go back because it's kind of real. It's kind of a real thing. It's often it's quite strange when someone smiles and it's like nine shades darker than the day. I know. I know. It's weird. It's like a strange shadow passed behind it's, their lip. That's quite a poetic thing when someone smiles. It's like a dark shadow. <laughs> you should put that in your movie. That oh, sounds quite depressing. Oh. <laughs> I'll put it in the next one. Put it in the next one. What is the next one then? The next one is... Musical? Comedy? It is a musical. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> it is. It's called... I shot it in Wales. It's called Hunky that... Dory. Is it about David Bowie? Well, it's not, but it's, it's, you've got a school orchestra basically playing arrangements of Hunky a lot Do of his songs. I like Hunky Dory, that album. That's an old album. Brilliant. Though. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant record. Have you met David Bowie? No, I never have. He I'd dresses like up as a lady. What do you mean? <laughs> Well, when he was younger, he doesn't well, do it now. No, I think he dresses up as an old lady now. But what happens, <laughs> is, but what happens is he's so convincing that people just think it's an old lady. They don't say, it's like, oh, look, there's David Bowie. They go, oh, that lovely old lady here. Come on over here, Grandma. They and he's go, like, oh, you strange creatures from the town. I really want to meet Dame Bowie. Dame Bowie. <laughs> I, I, actually, I've never met him. I would really like to meet David Bowie because I think he's probably awesome. I think he's absolutely incredible. He does these playlists. Like, I sort of check in every once in a while. Like, he sort of... What, he on writes, the iTunes or On iTunes. Oh, oh, it was somewhere else as well where he... Oh, it was a radio station. I saw what he was listening to. Like, really, really strange, interesting stuff that I couldn't listen to with a straight face, necessarily. Really? Or sort of... Um, there was some really progressive sort of African techno that was really weird. Yeah, right. <laughs> and I, I listened to a bit, yeah. but, but also some, just amazing, he's an amazing dude. Yeah, no, yeah. are you still at the music? Are you still playing in the... I am. Really? Well, I was singing and playing in this film as well that I just did, but I'm about to start another record. Really? I'm doing a covers record. Do you, do you need a harmonica player or Absolutely an accordion? Not. <laughs> well, look, oh, he's got... Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely, go on, do it again. 
Go on, do it again. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. See, the thing is, once they get started, then the audience starts and the whole damn machine opens up. It's definitely like trying to stop Ooh -la -la. train when it gets going. <laughs> it's awful. It's impossible. And yeah. no train you, a train you want to get off. <laughs> no. No, no offense. No, 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 no offense. No, it's no. all right. Well, what's, what's your album going to be then? It's not going to have a harmonica or an accordion. It's bound to fail, man. Sure. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Well, if you don't have a harmonica or an accordion, people are not going to be interested. An That's what the kids an, love. An accordion. An accordion, yeah. What's it's a cross between a garment and a, a musical instrument. It's a cardigan it's... and an accordion. Yeah. Yeah, how do you know I'm not going to have an accordion or a harmonica? Because I asked you and you said no. Did I say that? Maybe. I've got baby brain. No, I don't. Really? I might have an accordion. All There's right. a couple of songs. We are actually going to do some David Bowie on the records. So. Really? Yeah. Which ones are you going to do? I want to do Life on Mars, actually. Wow. You need an accordion for that. <laughs> Take a look at the lawman. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> Life on Mars. Except they don't even go, he doesn't even go like that, he just goes like that. I know, he? I know, it's kind of disappointing. I want him to get all going and he just presses a few buttons and leaves. In your pants. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I like so have you been otherwise? Have you, uh... I'm very, very good. Yeah? I did, I, um, I was in Glasgow. For Scotland, Glasgow? Was, yes. Yeah. No, Glasgow, Mongolia. Ooh. Glasgow, Scotland. <laughs> the, um... So, in um, all through the winter, which I don't recommend it. I mean, uh, I grew up there. I understand. I know, and I know the estate where you grew up. I mean, I can't believe you got out. Yeah. <laughs> That's when people say, "My God, this place is a dump." I'm like, "You kidding? Yeah, this is I got a palace in here." <laughs> He's not wrong. It's it, it is the it was the coldest I've ever been. They were the kindest, loveliest people They're I've nice ever come people, across. Yeah. But yeah. it was. They found, they found us, because I had my baby with me, and they found us um, a house that the BBC could afford, which meant that it was in a neighbourhood. It was sort of at the intersection of I'll mug you now street and I'll kill you later Ave. That's where uh, I used to live, actually, yeah. <laughs> it was really terrifying, and there were sort of hoodies, hoodies in England, like teenagers that want to mug Glasgow's in you. Scotland, by the way. Sorry, where I come from in England, hoodies, also in Scotland, yeah, are yeah, young yeah. people who want to take... I would come across the same bunch of teenagers almost every day, and every day they'd be like, can I get your wallet now? And I'd be like, no, not today. <laughs> like, all right, on your way. Go on then. 14-year-old kids. Yeah, I know. It was, yeah, I it used was to be one of them. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. In fact, can I have your wallet now? There's nowhere to bloody put it, mate. I well, don't know if you I, noticed. Can I at least have a search for it? <laughs> Can I, just, can I just check you? Can I just check you for money? If there's no money, who loses? Not me. <laughs> man, it's lovely to see you. It's oh, been it's too long. To you look you, sensational. Ben. It's Thank good to see so you, Thank you so much man. for having me on the show. Yeah. You were quite nervous, though. You just started doing the show when I was last on it. I know. Now and I'm all so jaded and cynical about it. I know, now your tie's all <laughs> He used to be, he used to be much sweatier and his tie was done up really tightly. <laughs> And, and then I got the show. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. No, All right. It's, 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 you're very relaxed and brilliant now. No, oh, you are very relaxed and brilliant. Thanks. <laughs> I'll go to a commercial break and we can make out. <laughs> Driver, everybody, mini driver. Oh, what is all this? What? What's all? Oh, sorry, oh, you're just about that. Yeah. Me down. man. You don't have to tidy up. Those I days are behind you. I you're a star. Can't help it. You're such no. a slob. Do you see my ring? Wow, what the hell? Did you get engaged to a bird? <laughs> that, let me see. What's that? Good? Yeah, that's a. I said that, it, a cockatoo? No, I said it was a sea. I said it was an eagle, and my son said, "No, it's a seagull," which doesn't have such a sort of fancy totem in the whole kind of. Trigger. I think it looks a bit like an owl. Do you ever go to Hooters? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, my God. Are we going to go there already? Yeah! <laughs> it's God, me, it man. Not... I haven't seen you for ages. Was... You look great. Do you know, I tweeted today about coming on this show, yeah. and I said, um, I've known you a long time, so we'll probably just talk about my mum and the traffic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How is your mum? She She's right? fantastic. Traffic's yeah. terrible. Traffic was bad, yeah. <laughs> Traffic's bad in LA. Do you, would you drive one of them uh, cars that don't need uh, gasoline? Yeah, but it's a total lie, isn't it? Because they do. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Go on. Your hair's a bit fly away. Thank you. Would that be weird if I, like... Oh, hang on. It's uh, sticking out. There you go. Would it be weird if I went to fix your hair and it came off? <laughs> like... God, now that I read that Andre Agassi book, I wish it had come off his hair. Do you what? remember when he wrote that thing about that that was what he was most worried about when he was playing... T t playing tennis because yeah, he was, was bald. because he was bald and he was wearing, like, a syrup. Syrup <laughs> is a cockney rhyming slang. Syrup of fig, wig. <laughs> it's so we are fig. in America, you know, men. <laughs> I'm sorry, That's Craig. all right. Yeah, but it's... Uh, have you acclimatised yet? Have you become a citizen? No. Aren't you going to? I don't think I could remember the lines. You know, you have to learn a whole thing about I am an American. <laughs> really? I don't know. I became an American. I didn't have to do that. Maybe it's a, I went to a different one. You, you mean the, I, mean the Pledge of Allegiance? You're actually, you're actually Canadian. That's what. Don't happened. even say that. <laughs> you took the wrong place. Oh no, I I love Canada, but don't I'm an American. Ask me questions what? like you know, like you yeah, know, you have to. It's a quiz. The, yeah. Yeah. So what kind of questions? Well, are you is it you know? Do you do you like gum? Yes. Do you hate Al Qaeda? <laughs> yes. Good. You're in. <laughs> That's it. Will you floss? I promise I will. OK, here you go. Because we have a lot of problems with British people saying they're going to floss and then not flossing. I will floss! I so swear. And then you get in. You've been here for a while now. I've been here forever. I have. I've been here for, like, 13 or 14 years. Well, that's a long time. You should maybe think of it. Do you pay your tax in America? Yeah, I mean, taxation without representation, it sucks, actually. Well, that's... that's the whole you idea. You it. can have representation. OK, well, swear me in, then. Oh, I, I'm not entitled to. Because oh, right. you're, can um, you're Canadian. No! Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know if I've got my equipment here. <laughs> no, I think the goose is cooked. Uh, no, but I think it's time you do it. How have you been otherwise? Um, I've been well done, mm -hmm. and I did. I went and did a lovely film in England this summer. Really? Were you in uh, London? I was. It poured it, with rain the entire time. Her Majesty the Queen's Jubilee this year. Did you go to anything? Oh, no, because I was filming on that day, but all everybody... Did you know that they really did have... The homeless people handing out sort of cagoules for uh, underneath the bridges. Windbreakers. They, yeah. 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 They literally they marshalled. Only in England would they marshal. <laughs> like everybody in America, what? The, what? what a, a cagoule? <laughs> the hell is a cagoule? <laughs> I'd never pass the test. It's clearly you why. No, you'll be fine. You'll be all right. <clears throat> so anyway. Cagoule's a Canadian word. You know that? <laughs> no. It, it might be. It might be. I think it might be Inuit. I'm lying. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so they had they, homeless people giving out. Clothes? Yeah, they basically they sort of the city of London marshalled as far as I as far as you know if the Guardian is to be trusted, which is a newspaper, newspaper in, in England. England. Oh, for sake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you acclimatised at all? Do you still eat like pies and stuff here? Yes, of course I do. No, you don't. Oh, I do. Actually, you look very. T oh God, I like your shoes. They're nice, aren't they? Yes, they oh, very are. Very much, very, very much. Wow, thank look you, at that. that real diamonds on your shoes. Yes, real diamonds on the toes of my shoes. That's a song, isn't it? No, soles of your shoes. What's the? How come your toenail polish is the same colour as your nail nail polish? Because I'm a girl. <laughs> That's the kind of thing you wake up in the morning and you go, everything's got to match. I, I, I paint my toenails. Carpet most and of drapes. The time. Carpet and drapes. Oh, Carpet and right. drapes. Uh, well, I have to tell you, oh, my, my research is, in this town has proved that not a lot of girls care about that. Well, there's not a whole lot of carpet left. That's why. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's right. Really? Everyone's gone for the Hard hardwood floors, floors yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Polish is up a tree. Yeah, buff and shine, buff and shine. <laughs> you went there at the same yeah, time. Yeah, I did, yeah, yeah. No, here's the thing. You are just as rude as me, but you blame me for being dirty and rude, and you're even dirtier and ruder than I me. I know, because you love being dirty and rude, and I want to at least maintain the sort of, you know... Well, I want to feign being a girl who cares about nail polish. And not you can care about nail. You which can, apparently you're I not am. a dirty slut. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, no, you no, no, no. But you've got the, you know, you've done all that. You can do that and do that. You can be clever and still enjoy, you know, fart jokes. It's okay. So wait. So what else do you do? What do you mean? 
Well, like in addition, Pete, my toenails? No, but in addition to being, you know, sort of dirty and creepy, what else is there? <laughs> well, that's my main thing. <laughs> My main thing is dirty and creepy, but I sometimes, I, I occasionally will read a book, for example. What are you reading right now? What are you reading? Oh, my gosh. I'm reading uh, Stendhal on love. Oh, boy. <laughs> I haven't learnt anything yet, and it's, yeah. it's a, it might ha I might have bitten off more than I can actually chew. I think so. Yeah, I think yeah. I might go back to Fifty Shades of... Fifty Shades of Grey, that's... <laughs> That's what you want. Oh, Have you not read that? Really, I, tr I did. I, I tried. Did try yeah. it. God, it's funny. It's, yeah. It's God, a... it's, fan it's so I, I kinda... funny. Well, it's so I, funny. Well, when I was reading it, I thought, you know, because I think I'm very vanilla and not sexually adventurous at all. And I, I you love that you use a term from the book, vanilla. <laughs> you totally read. You read all three, didn't you? Sod. Oh my God, I'm a little vanilla. I'm a little vanilla. <laughs> Safety words, banana. But the. Uh, <laughs> But I actually think I'm quite, I, I'm quite sexually adventurous. I think more so than that. What do you do? No, I can't tell you. It's network television. Do you know, Adam Sandler once said, he, when someone asked him about sex, he went, yeah, you know, I can just do it slow and I can also do it fast. <laughs> that's funny. That's one of the questions on the American Citizenship <gasps> thing. I love it. You're, you see, it's all coming back to you. Let's you? keep talking about sex. All right. <sighs> Short conversation. Well, I mean, we have to take a commercial break, but I can still keep talking to you about sex. We'll be right back. And we'll be talking about sex. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Minnie Driver, who's... Uh, do you say, are you still singing? you still got your band? Yeah, I'm just finishing a third record. I can't believe you actually asked me something about something that I'm doing, but, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I just, I'm just finishing my... <laughs> and do you find when you're singing that it, it's sexually exciting for you? <laughs> Cos it is yeah, for me. Yeah, sometimes. It, it, well, particularly when, you, when if there's any kind of any percussion going and it's... <laughs> <laughs> That's a callback to your balls. <laughs> Well, you 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 uh, you enjoy a Newton's cradle every now and again, don't you? I love it's that. That sounds like Cockney rhyming slang. Newton's cradle. Newton's cradle. I like rhyming slang. I was trying to think. What's the other ones? Are the apples and pears and stairs. Trouble and strife. Trouble and strife. Wife. Richard uh, the third. Richard the third. Turd. Yeah. Third. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, it can be either. I thought Richard the third was I have to go to the bathroom. I've got Richard coming on. <laughs> Or it could be, who's that lovely dicky bird, see? <laughs> yeah, how, they, how, how come that girls get called birds? Like, they, in America, they get called chicks, and in, in England, they get called birds. But why did that happen? Is it because of some...? I wish I'd had advance notice that there were going to be questions that m may or may not contribute to my becoming an American citizen on the show. <laughs> that I is one no... of the questions. Do you like gum? Uh... I don't know. There's something, because I suppose... Because guys used to say, I like birds, the two-legged variety. The two-legged variety. <laughs> think, all birds have got two legs. You don't get a bird with four legs. They're like, oh, look at that seagull. It's got four legs. Oh, oh look, the two-legged variety. Yeah, two-legged. Do you know what? When I, did, um, when I did the Bond film back... I don't remember what. I did Goldeneye a hundred years ago. And it was before... I don't know, it was before everything was politically correct. And I remember one of the... ADs, he used to pat me on the bottom every single day and go, that's a lovely little bird, that's a lovely little bird. What? And I used to go, that's can... not my bird, that's not a bird, that's my ass." Right. <laughs> but he always called my bum a bird, so I wonder if it's just some sort of quasi Are you sure he worked on the film or did he just turn up? <laughs> he's turned up every day to pat you in the bottom? Because I would, I would do that. It was actually Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> Pierce Brosnan? No, it wasn't Oh, no, he wouldn't do that. It wasn't, it was just back in the time where it was sort of, it was apparently okay. What are you talking about? It was only ten years ago or something. Apparently, back then, you were allowed to do No, that. you can't touch anyone's bottom now. I touched my wife's bottom the other day. I, she called the police. <laughs> She's suing me. It's because like it's you read Fifty Shades of Grey. No, I touched her and went, ooh, that's a nice... She said banana, and I didn't stop. <laughs> All right, we're out of time. Hey, listen, um... <laughs> Thank God. One more question. Go ahead. Oh, isn't she lovely? She's lovely. God bless her. No. Yeah, what? Oh, God, you're going to do something. Don't do anything dirty to the Queen. I'm not doing anything dirty to the Queen. What are you going to put on that plate? 
A cup? <laughs> Man, it's a saucer. Cup. Go on, what were you going to ask me? I was going to ask you, what is she thinking in this photograph? I don't think she's got a skirt on, frankly. <laughs> I think actually she's like, Philip, can you see my knickers? <laughs> <laughs> can you see my knickers? Can you see my knickers, Philip? I didn't Philip, know I the safety <laughs> word's banana! <laughs> See, that's it. You won't get your leadership <laughs> thing now. I'm not going to be allowed to be English now, much less be American. Oh, of course you're allowed to be English. They've got a sense it. of humour all the time. They, they know that we mean no disrespect to Her Majesty the Queen, they God bless her. her. I bought several mugs for the, in, in lieu of the... Crockery. That's how they make all their money, you know, crockery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God bless her. She's what? She's a 102. 120. 120 now, is she? Yeah. Well, good on her, I say. Well, that's it. Uh, we're done. Anything else you want to add? I think it went brilliantly. Actually. I think it went very, very well. I like your hair. Thanks, love. I'm glad you fixed it. You've got very good hair, though, don't you? Yeah, I do, yeah. You never lost it. I gather it from other parts of my body and <laughs> stick it out. <laughs> oh, I'm shaved. It's all up here. So... In your house, do you have uh, hardwood floors or carpets? Hardwood floors. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs>
Oh, that's a good song. Yes, yeah, a good one. Did you talk to uh, Robert Smith about singing it? No. You just like sing it. You go mad. I do. Oh, I hope not. See the way he puts on his lipstick. I know, he gets very the... angry. He's like, <laughs> he doesn't even have time to put his lipstick on. He's like, ah. Oh, mm. Wait. Have you I, ever met him? No. I met him. Yeah, what did he do? He just said hello. He's kind did of. Did he have lipstick everywhere? Yeah, yeah. He's. It's Robert Smith is a cute. I know. You know, he's like. He's about fifty now as well, and he wears lipstick. Still wears now. lipstick. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm fifty-one. I still have my moments. <laughs> You're always wearing lipstick. Yeah, I am, in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> We've never met before this evening. You know, I tell you what's quite interesting. It's what? quite hard to do this if you know the person. I know. Do you know what I mean? That's quite interesting. Well, that's why I sort of like getting comfortable, because normally I'd be like looking for my pint and like... Yeah, yeah, something. and we'd be like talking and there'd be no one watching. Well, there's not really, really anyone watching. No, well, <laughs> there could probably be more people watching, but that's more your problem than mine. <laughs> I have to say, I thought about that and I've decided that I don't want a lot of people to watch. Well, that's all right then. Yeah, no, I'm serious. I was thinking about this, like things that are very popular versus things that I like. Everything like, that I like is usually smaller in popularity than things that I don't like. Like what? Justin Bieber versus The Cure. Yes. Right? Justin Bieber, very, very popular. I don't really care. The Cure, not as popular as Justin Bieber. I care much more. I could not agree with you more. Actually. I see. Well, I must have to change my opinion then. <laughs> Just so there's fodder for the show. I get what you. No, you're no, no, not not that, or maybe that. <laughs> like if I like in a battle. Like in, in 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 within the parameters of what you just said. Right. Kings of Leon versus the Black Keys. The Black Keys slay me. Kings of Leon, fine, nice, huge rock band, great. Yeah, Black no, Keys. I don't. Oh, all right. What about Coldplay versus U2? Neither. What? <laughs> I find that quite interesting. Why? Coldplay are quite nice. I like them. They're like sort of. They are, but it's it's they they are very nice. It's just it's a bit too nice. So you like a bit of rough, is what you're saying? Well, I like the black keys. Yes, I see. The horse clash. is nodding. See, horse uh -huh. likes the black keys too, don't you, horsey? <laughs> hey, see? you remember who buys your coke, man? <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, that's how I control him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, he's nodding shamefully. No, um, no, I like the uh, Clash versus the Sex Pistols. Clash? Yeah. Oh, my God, Clash. A million times the Clash. Well, no, the Sex Pistols too, though. Yeah, but more for sort of... Sorry, all of you. I mean, this really is like a music conversation. But the, the, but the Sex Pistols just sort of piss and vinegar. Do you know what I mean? And Excuse the clash, like, me, the Pretty Vacant is one of the greatest rock songs, Anarchy in the UK, God Save the Queen. Although I have to say... But God... we were taking a position on what was happening at the time, sort of culturally and, and not really musically. Like, the Clash like, went on being brilliant and brilliant and brilliant and developing and expanding and that they feel like they had an evolution where the sex was... Well, yes, but it's not it. a competition. Well, who says? <laughs> I think it is. It's not a competition. See, that's my problem. I don't think it's a competition. Well, then it's just about what you like, isn't it? Right. It's like, you know what I think the worst thing is when they say the top ten movies. Like, these are the top ten movies. You go, well, wait a minute. This piece of crap opened on 4,000 screens, and this really good movie opened in four screens. It's not what fair. What one's going to make the most well, money? It's not, and it's not, it is not fair, and it is not, Hollywood is not a meritocracy at all. And never will really? be, never has been. I know, can you believe it? I'm shocked. <laughs> Me too, shock yeah. And it's, it's stacked, so you have to identify. That's why it's important that you... I think as you go older, you just do whatever the hell you like. Like. Well, that is generally what happens, because there's no one to tell you not to. <laughs> I'm constantly telling my son to not do stuff, and then I'm sort of like... Did you, just, ah! you just adjusted your bra Sorry, right I in front of me. Yeah. Well, what... But I've what got... was it doing that was annoying you so much? Well, it looked like it was being squished down. I was unsquishing it. <laughs> I have no shame, Craig. You're no. nodding again. The whole <laughs> nodding again. You it remember was... who buys your coke, man? It was being squished, wasn't it? <laughs> was it being squished? What, what, what one? <laughs> Ask me something else. Do you want a foot massage? No! Right. <laughs> what about, uh, what is it? What? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you ever had snowflakes? <laughs> Have you? <laughs> Stoveflakes are, that's the thing, everybody's going nuts for them. <laughs> People are going crazy, it's the new popcorn. I like the old popcorn. Well, it's, you can still have that, but you can also have Stoveflakes. <laughs> you just like saying it. Yeah, I do. Uh, <laughs> have you ever been to Belgium? No. That's why you haven't had Stoveflakes. Exactly. 
I've never had reason to go to Belgium. Oh, it's lovely. Did you go to Antwerp? I like that it has twerp. Oh, that's it? funny, yeah, yeah. It's like calling the town an idiot or something, yeah. <laughs> a twerp, a yeah. twerp. In, does that mean that here, though? I don't know. I've lived here for a long time, but I've never checked. You twerp. Yeah, twerp, twerp, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it's twerp. We, we have an American, live American over there. <laughs> yeah, he, he knows the word twerp. No, I went to Brussels. <laughs> Which is also funny. Oh, it's very... They, all the comedy towns are in Belgium. <laughs> Brussels, Antwerp, Clownville, uh, <laughs> Squirty Bot. Flemmy Fun. Yeah, <clears throat> all of that. Flemmy Fun? It's got Flemish in it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's... that's what, I like the language as well. Flemmy. <laughs> it's like a combination of Welsh, French and the flu. <gasps> that's exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, do, I feel like apologising, because we're talking about Belgium. What's wrong with that? It's a lovely country. Tell me what else is lovely about Belgium. Chocolate. Waffles. <laughs> Jean-Claude Van Damme. <gasps> Tiny. Really? Is he? Tiny! Is he? I didn't. Tiny. I've never met him. Tiny, I mean, talk about me being an Amazon. I saw him in a gym one time, almost sat on him. <laughs> <laughs> really? My lord! He was only having a rest, well, but he looked like a little he... tiny piece of equipment. Well, he's... <laughs> like, oh, from time. Oh, you <laughs> Oh, hey, get off me! I'm not equipment. <laughs> I'm just tired. <laughs> Let me alone, you big <laughs> British button. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, when I think about it, I quite like it. Bring it down again. <laughs> Harder. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, good times. Right, uh, <laughs> All right, well, we'll take a break from your uh, thing, and then, but you'll come back at the end of the show and sing a song, the I Pure Song. I would love to. All right, are you going to do that with your makeup? No. All right, then. I'm sure you know what you're doing. <laughs> is in session. She's back to perform close to me the fantastically lovely and not a giraffe, Mini Driver, everybody, Mini Driver. I waited hours for this I made myself so sick I wish I'd stay I never thought this day would end I never thought tonight could ever be This close to me Just try to see in the dark just try to make it work to feel the feel Before you're here I make the shapes come much too close I put my eyes out, hold my breath and wait Till I shine But if I had your face Then I could make it safe and clear to me, 
But if I had your face, then I could make it safe and clean. Ooh, if only I was sure that my head on the door was a I mean, you look really great. You're like, you're like, you're like a sort of sexy lady in a Bond film. Do you know what? I wasn't a Bond film. I know, and it's like but, you're doing it again. Yeah, but you know what? I wasn't a Bond girl because I think you have to kill someone or have sex with someone, and I didn't do either. Ever? Uh, well, <laughs> not much. Well, in the but in the uh, but you you had sex with someone, didn't you? Oh, that was a different film, or maybe it was in my mind. I think it was in your mind. In my mind. And by the way, what? it is the best way to know if a bloke likes you. What, to have sex with him? Yeah, if he's having sex with you, you're generally in. <laughs> it, gets, it gets dirty fast because I don't really know what else to do with him. Hey! hey! You've known me for quite the some... Horse, the horse, look, the horse yeah, the is horse. nodding. Yeah, yeah. Nodding. The horse, I didn't know this, but Jeff can read that. This is a whole new subtext that's going on now. Jeff can read the horse's mind, and apparently the horse thinks in Morgan Freeman's voice. <laughs> it's true, right? <laughs> Jeff, read the horse's mind. Yeah, right now I'm wearing that Dracar Noir cologne. <laughs> I like it old school, baby. Is that amazing? <laughs> the things you find out about people. For example, this film. Let's talk about it quickly. Quickly. Yeah, it looks great to me. You've got well, that's one of my favourite David Bowie songs right there, A Man Who Sold the World. And all the kids played everything in that film. Really? They workshopped them for like three years. Are you a Bowie fan? I love David Bowie. Love him. Have you got the new have yes, you got the I new have. album? Yes. Oh I have. wow, it's fantastic. Can't say enough. I know, and he, you know but that did you see his wife? Did you see that his wife came out with a proper rant about him? Really? Yeah, it was today in the papers. Well he doesn't do the dishes and stuff? Well we sort of she basically ended by sort of going, Yeah, and I bet he's like happy in his house, like making love to his beautiful wife, so there. <laughs> it was that a is rubbish it? it was a rubbish rant. Was it is it ex wife? Yeah, Angie. Oh, yeah. Angie, yeah, the one with yeah, yeah. No eyebrows and the well, she wore something a bit like this actually. <laughs> All right, you be Angie Bowie. It's the 1970s. You're Angie Bowie and I'm David Bowie, right? I really like. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, she, what? Was she American? Yeah, sure. Yes, I think she is. All right then. Oh, play me the one where you're the spaceman. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to sing that one. I want to sing the new one where I go away <laughs> today. Oh, try Ceratops. Did you hear? Did you hear what? You keep uh, touching my knee, I know, which I is love awesome. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you. Did you know what Peter O'Toole said about marriage? What? He said, find a woman you loathe and give her your house. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's jaded and awful. I mean, you I can't. Know, you, you're a romantic funny. person, aren't you? Horribly romantic. Are you really? And also horrible. No, you're not horrible. You're lovely. I see you very walking romantic. around being nice with your lovely boy, Henry. He's very nice. Oh, Everything's nice. Which age is he now? Four. Oh, boy. That's trouble. Yeah, he's big trouble. He's trouble, in, he's trouble with the ladies. At four? Yeah. He knows, he knows what a pretty girl looks like. I think it's sort of, it's wired into... You know, lots yeah, it's, a, it's in your penis. <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 you're, if you're if you're straight, your if you're straight, it's in your penis, and if it's uh, and if you're it's gay, it's also in your penis, penis <laughs> but it's in a different direction. 
<laughs> yeah, but it's um, no. I well, yes, I think it starts early. How we do were, you know though? Because we were on a plane, right? And we were walking up and down because you know it takes eleven oh, hours to get to yes, London. Yes. We're walking up and down, and there are three really nice-looking girls all sitting next to each other. But the one who's sitting by the window is properly gorgeous, very hot. And so we're walking down, and Henry's a bit like the Pope. Likes to say hello to people, hold their hand, little benediction here, little love there, little bit of kiss. Are you trying to here. tell us that he My is? My son should be the Pope. Right, maybe, no. yeah. Because that whole pretty girl thing is going to work against them in the election. I'm not going near that one. All right. Anyway, there we are on the airplane, walking down. So he's saying, and he gets to the three girls, and he checks out the two quite nice looking ones, and he just he puts his arm by them. He goes. What's your name? <laughs> to the girl by the window. Really? And she's like, oh, Ashley. And I'm like, he's four. Don't call oh, Ashley him. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're going to have to deal with it. You're going to have to deal with it later on. My oldest boy, when I was, he was changed, getting his diaper changed in, in, uh, in Hyde Park in London in the public bathrooms. And my wife, his, his mother, was changing the, his diaper. And he was lying there with his junk out, right? And it put away, and it was in the ladies' bathroom, and this hot girl walked in, and he's lying there, oh, completely God. naked, and he looked at her and he said, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, ooh, <laughs> Ashley. Ashley! I know. Hey. So, what's the film about? What happens in the film? Do you, are you sing a David Bowie song? That's enough for me, I'm in. It is, it's about a... It's sort of inner city glee, really. Um, urban, uh, you know, it's a teacher who is on the skids a bit herself, who decides to put on a rock opera with these kids who have no interest in music. And so she gets. Does she all solve of the, the problems music. of the inner city community by doing this? Because I think Michelle Pfeiffer did that with nah, rap not some even. time ago. <laughs> not even. She's, you know, it's set in the 70s and she's. Um, do you play someone in the, the 70s? I do. <laughs> How do you do Not that? Somebody in, oh, like this. <laughs> <laughs> Not someone no, you have in to... their seventies. Someone in. No, the that's 70s. what I said. In their seventies. Well, like, did you have to do what they did in the seventies? Do you have to, like, you know, not shave what, what do you and stuff do? like that? You know. No. You know, yeah. We talked about this. You know me. I like to be waxed like a floorboard. Yes, I know, babe. If, it, if the rule requires you to get fuzzy no, with it, I you won't. have to get fuzzy no, with it. No, I won't. Like, but it's not like anyone's gonna see a blooming but you merkin. Know, but, but you, but you know. You know. You think it would really affect my performance if I'm... I had unshaven pubis? <laughs> Trust me. I think it might. <laughs> <laughs> it might affect the performance of those around you. <laughs> Who would know? Guess what today, lads? <laughs> it's not that type of film. It's an upbeat. No, not at all. It's a love. It's really brilliant. The kids play all the music. We put on this musical. It's all Bowie, um, um, ELO, amazing I, I, music. I, I wasn't such a fan of ELO, but I love David Bowie. It's fantastic. Oh, uh, you know, it's quite good. They, they do a Bowie song with just jam jars filled with water. So it's like... What one? Blink, 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 blink. Oh, the man who fell to earth. That one? Again? Yeah. Yes. Is that the only one you could get the rights to? No. All right. He, no, he was amazing about that. Like, cut the sweetest deal to help us be I able think, to afford that. I, I think he's absolutely... Have you ever met him? No. No, I haven't. I, I don't really want to. Because <laughs> I, I think he's like, there's not and lots of water on our planet, Mary Lou. I want him to be from another planet. I don't want him to go, hello, how are you doing? I'm David. <laughs> hello, yeah. David. No, I'd be like, mm-hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Love you doing Bowie. Yeah, I, I do. I enjoy it very much indeed. <laughs> do go on. Do the, do a bit more of the interview as him. Oh, see. I'll do the entire interview as David Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> so, what else have you been doing? <laughs> I heard you bought a house. <laughs> Actually, I didn't hear you bought a house. Do you own a house? Why not? Honestly, You've got some money, you can all, buy a house. Was that all you could come up with as David Bowie? No, I was being <laughs> David Bowie as a talk show host. That's what they say. They say that pre-interview thing, so they go, I hear you did something that the researcher told me about five minutes ago. I've done nothing of consequence. I'm about to shoot a pilot, which I hope... Don't do that. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> What part? Oh, knock it off. You're being sarcastic. What, uh... What I are you, know what they're laughing. No, they're... 
I, 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 I traumatized them earlier on. I, know, I chastised I you do and they it. were like, they're, now they're like, well, 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 we don't person, know what to do. Who's the poor person with the laugh? I don't you know. know. Own up, who are you? Yeah, no, don't, don't. No, the one with the, do. No. I want to know who it was. It was the Fantastic. Nelson Muntz laugh. It was a, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's freaking me out. It was like, I got a honking great laugh. I can't. I can't point. No, you. I can tell when you're laughing because That's it sounds like laugh. donkeys are approaching. <laughs> <laughs> donkeys are approaching. <laughs> no, stop it now. Listen, uh, we have to take a commercial break. Oh, go on, man. <laughs> Mini Driver is wearing an off-the-shoulder number. Off-the-shoulder, very nice, and I like this. It's quite, it's quite sort of pro-skater, which I like. It is, yeah, it's a bit figure skater -y. But perhaps more amateur skater. What is that fabric? I don't know. It feels like it might involve electrical charges. <laughs> like, you know, if you wore it, if you rubbed up against something too quickly, some sparks would fly. That's always happening. Oh, man. I can't stop it happening. Well, you're a very attractive woman. Why does the horse nod all the time? <laughs> is, he, is he just agreeing with Yeah, me? yeah. What happens is it's like, it, it, it's like Destiny's Child. I'm Beyonce. OK, go on. You, I'll I'm be Beyonce. Kelly. No, 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 no. Oh, no right. I'm Beyonce and they're, they're the two other ones. No, uh, look. Yes. No. Oh. Yes, they're Kelly Rowland and I can't remember the other girls. I was going to be impressed if you knew everybody in Destiny's Child because I only know Beyonce and then the two other ones. <laughs> well, I only know what. It is quite odd, the nodding. Well, tell knock us. it off. Yeah, knock it off. <laughs> oh, you've, sorry. Shamed, you've shamed her. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, excuse me a second. What? Just relax. It's not a real fat like horse. <laughs> Do you know what? I used to have a horse. You had a horse? I had a horse called Flash, and you couldn't catch him, which is why he was called Flash. Was he not called Flash because he liked to show his genitals to strangers? <laughs> well, I don't think horses have much choice about that, because their genitals are constantly on display. No. On the contrary, where I come from, horses wear trousers, young lady. <laughs> yeah, but you come from Scotland. Nobody goes there. <laughs> I love Scotland. The horses do not wear trousers. Yes, they do, Minnie. Yes, they do. They wear trousers. Horses wear trousers in Scotland, and David Bowie's my best friend. You might as well know. <laughs> Your horse is back nodding again. Yeah, no. <laughs> Listen, we're out of time. Uh, you want to do anything? Uh, yeah. Mouth organ, awkward pause, what, throw frizz? Russell Crowe had his on the oars. Oh, no. <laughs> Did he bring his own when Russell, he had it? Well, no, I, I don't. I, it's a fresh mouth organ every time. I wouldn't ask you to blow Russell Crowe's organ. <laughs> Unless, unless it was an integral part of the plot, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tell you what, I've got a trombone. Look, you oh, can, bring you can, it out, bring yeah, it out. Yeah, you, you, you played that in the film, didn't you? No, I didn't. I'm not blowing anything on your show. <laughs> I'm not. Many, many. I won't me. <laughs> You've changed. <laughs> Look, you, you blow the mouth organ and I'll, uh, and I'll uh, play the trombone. Uh, what do you want to play? Uh, the Man Who Sold the World? Sure, go on. All right. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I never lost control. Many driver, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> We've started. Can you shut up for a minute? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Apparent, apparently, boy, these two ladies over there that are sitting down are from Switzerland. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, that was the, you were really shocked there. Right. Well, here's the thing. One of them has an injured foot. <laughs> Which surprises me, because I thought the Swiss were neutral. <laughs> How did this happen? Let's find out. 
Hi, ladies. When I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. My name is Diana, and I'm from Switzerland. Uh huh. Yeah. And, and you are? I'm Anita, and I'm from Switzerland too. Really? And what are you girls doing in Los Angeles? Vacation. Living the good life. <laughs> Which part, which part of Switzerland are you from? Zurich. Zurich's my favorite part. Really? Have you been? Yes. How did you like it? It was excellent. I particularly enjoyed, what was the thing we liked in Switzerland, Jeff? The men. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, oh, sorry. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> May I ask how you injured your foot? <laughs> Should I really say this? Yes! <laughs> I was... I feel the same. Oh. <laughs> quiet, quiet. I know what it sounded like. <laughs> what language do you speak? Uh, is German, French? Swiss German. Swiss, Swiss German. German? Anyway, um... <laughs> it probably sounded like a different word. So you, you're gonna leave it in. You're a racist, man. <laughs> so, when, the, when you, you were out enjoying a, a party? Yes, exactly. I had high heels on. <laughs> oh, tell me. I've done that. <laughs> and you went over? Where was this? Were you in Las Vegas? No, Amberson. Emerson. Emerson. Emerson? Emerson. Emerson. Club. Emerson. Emerson Club. Club. Yeah. In Hollywood. It's with, a Emerson. With it we love to change. change. <laughs> if you hear us, we love you. <laughs> we went because of him. Yeah, actually. We wanted to stay at home. <laughs> <laughs> You've jumped the shark, really, haven't we? 